However, we begin with a more serious story, and it's believed to be the largest auto recall in U.S. history. Japanese airbag maker Takata finally gave in to pressure from regulators, doubling the number of vehicles affected by faulty airbags to 34 million. Federal transportation officials say many of Takata's airbags explode with such force that they can blow apart a metal canister, sending shrapnel flying into drivers and passengers. NBC's Tom Costello has more. The size of the recall is stunning. Nearly 34 million vehicles nationwide now involved, 11 different automakers, roughly one out of every four cars on the road. After five months of insisting its airbag inflators are not defective, the Takata Corporation now admits that's not true. Takata has agreed to declare that airbag inflators are defective. It is recalling these inflators, and these recalls are nationwide. The government says five people in the U.S. have been killed by defective airbags, including 18-year-old Ashley Parham, who died after a minor fender bender when the airbag exploded. I literally got there within seconds and watched an 18-year-old girl who had her whole life ahead of her literally die in front of me inside that vehicle. Others, like Brandy Brewer, lost an eye. It just makes me angry, angry that this has been an ongoing problem and that is still going on now. Uh, this is something that should have been fixed years ago. Government investigators believe that effective airbags are most dangerous in extremely humid climates. Moisture can lead to a chemical reaction causing the inflator to explode. Three, two, one. To find out if your car is on the expanded recall list, locate your vehicle identification number right underneath your wipers. Then go to safercar.gov. Go to search for recalls, then recalls by VIN, Type in that VIN number, and whatever recalls are affecting your car, including the airbag recall, should pop up. It's not enough to identify defects. To save lives and prevent injuries, defects must be repaired. In a statement, Takata said we are committed to continuing to work closely with regulators and our automaker customers to do everything we can to advance the safety of drivers. But repairing all of the 34 million vehicles could take years, and it's possible that if yours has already been replaced, it'll have to be replaced again if investigators determine the replacement parts are also defective. The Department of Transportation will now determine which cars to get fixed, and Luke, that will be based on risk, on location, and also on age. Back to you. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russer. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.